In this video I would like to show you how to uh, write variables from a PLC, from a backoff PLC to a Mosquito MQTT broker by installing all components on the PLC. The PLC is a CU series type by Beckhoff running Windows 10. Um, we have also installed um, the spider control SCADA server including a spider PLC for uh, function block um, programming which uh, calls a JavaScript function um, to involve Node-RED um, flow which then will um, write these variables to the MQTT broker. Um, we'll now uh, change to the remote desktop of uh, the PLC to show uh, the download of all the needed components. First thing is we have to go to uh, spidercontrol.net, uh, go to the download area, uh, first mark the SCADA editor. Next go to the backoff section and download uh, the SCADA web server with Spider PLC for backoff. Then go to the checkout, um, give your email address and name and proceed with the download. Next we need Node.js. Um, you can just choose the uh, standard Windows installation of Node.js uh, for 64 byte a bit and we go to the Mosquito homepage um, and download this um, installation also for Windows 64 bit. After having done that um, these are the required components which we just downloaded. Um, first thing is we need to install the SCADA server for backoff so we start um, this installation take all the default settings this now starts uh, this uh, tray icon app uh, showing that the web server um, is already running. Um, this might not be the case when you do it the first time because the port could be wrong and some other settings. Uh, therefore go to uh, cww and open the file sales web server.xml and change the tag uh, HTTP port port to something different from 80. I have taken 80, 89. Uh, we proceed with the tag ADS port. We have to select 851 because we will use a back of 3 um, PLC. Uh, we will also have to switch on uh, this MBLIP RT enable to 1 and this should be to 1. So that should be just fine and uh, then you can just uh, restart the service and see that the web server, the SCADA server is now running correctly. Next thing is uh, install the Node.js runtime, just go through uh, the defaults. I've already installed it here, but it's pretty much uh, the same. Just go through all of this. And the third thing is install uh, the Mosquito. So this will now just um, install the MQTT broker. Next is we will need to install uh, Node-RED. To uh, install Node-RED uh, you can type in on a console uh, this command npm install minus g um, etc. I have um, put this to um, a batch file and we'll just start this. So this will now uh, install all the needed components for Node-RED. Okay. 
and we can now start uh, Node-RED um, just by typing in um, Node-RED on a console which I just did here uh, with this batch file. So Node-RED is now up and running. Um, we will start uh, the Mosquito Broker. To do so, we have to go to the directory where it is installed. It's called uh, C Program Files Mosquito and just start Mosquito Exe. Um, now our broker is already is also uh, running. The next thing is um, we will um, start Node.js installation which is delivered together with our SCADA server. You can find these installations in um, the directory um, www.hmi std for scripts. Um, here is uh, the runtime for our Node.js uh, component server and the example so source code right here. Uh, we have to install a couple of libraries first, so start this batch file which is part of the delivery once. So this will um, install all the necess necessary components and we can now start the Node-RED web server. And so now we've got all the necessary components up and running on uh, the back of PLC and we can move over to our development PC. Um, on the development PC uh, we can install uh, our uh, HMI editor, the PC based HMI editor which we downloaded before um, and what we need to do here is just do the driver configuration um, the driver configuration is done, so when you create a new project um, and uh, in this new project just go to SCADA configuration, uh, press add, so this um, first driver will appear and choose the type uh, back of standard ADS um, driver and choose this um, 800 port 851 uh, for a twin cat uh, type 3 PLC instance 1. If you want you can also import the TPY file um, which allows to use uh, the variable list from twin cat. Um, in your additional HMI, the additional HMI is, is uh, this page which I use to present um, <coughs> the uh, first impression of the project before, mainly showing to these uh, variables um, which we will send to uh, Mosquito, to the MQTT broker later on. So how is this done? Um, we first need to download the driver configuration by uh, pressing this um, download button we need to open um, the HTTP download uh, section which will appear right now. We have to enter here, uh, first choose HTTP download, um, enter the IP address and the port um, of the web server um, and uh, connect and download the project. Next thing is download the driver configuration. Also press download and on the PLC you should make sure that um, the, the SCADA server um, is restarted once to reload uh, the driver configurations uh, which we just uh, sent to the server. Okay, so now we're set to start our um, Spider PLC programming. Um, 
To do so, we can uh, open uh, the start URL um, of our web server. We move to uh, web editor. Uh, so this opens the browser-based um, editor. We open the function block description logic and we'll add one view, one sheet actually. We'll open the sheet and add the respective uh, function blocks. So we will need an input and an output and go to user logic and in this case we will call a node JS function um, with an array input. We connect the input to the trigger and the output to the, um, with the return value um, and now move over to the configuration um, of the respective components. For the trigger we can just we'll use an internal variable, an internal register of um, the spider PLC which could be R500 and the output will be R501. Um, we'll also add um, a little button which allows us to trigger um, the function execution manually. Um, we'll also assign this register 500 to um, this thing and we will now configure the um, call to the Java script um, logic. The function which we would like to call is um, called uh, we can have a look at this So, the function which we will call is called the MQTT to cloud and uh, so this uh, function will receive all the variables that we send from spider plc and then send it to the instance of the node red server. Uh, so we will have to enter Uh, this function name. This function allows us to um, transfer an array. Um, so multiple values of this array will be written. The array length is defined here. We say, okay, this array will have a length of 8. And we will now take over the value um, of this array, which um, be used here. So to do this make a copy. Uh, this can be any kind of um, array and what is important about it is that it tells us um, it uses this, this marker um, called at uh, function index at um, which defines us the starting point, the first element in the, in the array. So the first element will be um, 1 and this marker says um, where uh, the logic has to add the, the offset to. So we have now the correct prefix of this variable and we need the postfix of this name which will be um, dot s name. We will also add this to the end of this structure. Okay, so this is now uh, the name of the array which will be sent to this function. Um, we will 
exit and we will make a build and a save and start the debugger. We have also uh, added some um, examples, some other examples here. For instance, uh, we're calling a multiplication function. So if we add two operands, 23 and 12, and let it execute, we see that it already calculates. And we can also see how um, the Uh, logic of um, the Node.js um, is called when I press the trigger here. So this will send out the request. Um, to go on with um, our design flow, so we have now implemented this part. We move now to Node.red. We have to implement the Node.red logic. To do this, um, we will start the Node-RED um, tool. This is the same IP address of the uh, PLC port 1880. Um, so this will open um, this page and we will now implement a logic to receive um, the command from um, our Node.js functionality um, and to transfer it to an MQTT broker. We will also have to add this HTTP response object to tell the calling uh, Node.js function that everything worked out fine. And we will add a debug output just to um, make sure um, that we can see something um, happening. The first thing is uh, we configure the HTTP uh, receiver. This receiver will receive a post and the URL is called uh, node red. So this is coded inside uh, this JavaScript code which I showed before. So that will be the HTTP. Uh, the message payload um, will not will not have to configure anything else than that. The MQTT um, is an important thing. So we will first enter the correct URL. So uh, localhost is correct in this case because we have everything located on the back of PLC. Um, the port is OK, security, uh, username, password we will not use for this demo. Um, we make update, we choose quality of service to retain, don't need, so that will be just fine. Um, and for the HTTP, This will just return uh, the status message. So next thing we've got to do is to deploy. And we see that the MQTT um, element has already connected to our broker. And we could uh, change now to this debug and show uh, the command window. And Theoretically, if we go to our function block um, debugger view, so this is the logic which we um, implemented before, and we can now trigger, and it now writes out um, the complete command se sequence to the MQTT broker.